Royal take Harry into a big trap to lay bare lies through his teeth as protect the throne from betrayers. The royal family has been labelled an outspoken pressure group over their position regarding the climate by one commentator. While the royal family has taken a stern stance on the environment, Danielle Wilson claimed Prince Harry has been plugging away without any prash on the issue. The commentator pointed to the praise Prince William has received from his father for his Earthshot Prize while Harry has been drawing attention to the climate through his appearance at the Global Citizen Live concert, his eco-travel initiative Travelist, and comments regarding conservation in Africa. Writing for News Australia, she said, given the timing of this piece and given that both of his sons have been plugging away on eco-initiatives, it would have made perfect sense if Charles had shared his pride in both of his sons' efforts on this front. Instead, it was only William who was singled out. She added, in bringing their collective weight to bear on one issue, the royal family has mobilized and the monarchy has transformed from a tourist attraction to an increasingly outspoken pressure group. Later today a memorial party for the Princess of Wales, who died in 1997, will be hosted by her son the Duke of Cambridge. The event at Kensington Palace will see Prince William and Gate, Duchess of Cambridge thanking donors who helped fund a statue of Diana surrounded by three children, who represent the universality and generational impact of the princess's work. Situated in Kensington Gardens, the commissioned statue was unveiled by both Prince Harry and his brother William in July, on what would have been their mother's 60th birthday. The Duke of Cambridge is said to be hosting around 100 guests at the party, including Princess Diana's close friends, former staff and relatives, and while Sir Elton John was also previously scheduled to attend, he is reportedly now unable to as he is recovering from hip replacement surgery. Although members of the royal family are also expected to attend, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are reportedly not able to return to the UK for the event. The unveiling of the statue in July marked one of only two instances that Harry had returned to UK soil, following him and his wife Meghan Markle's abdication from royal duties. The couple moved to the US in 2020, and they now reside in California with their two children Archie, aged two, and Lilibet, who was born in June. Last night marked the inaugural Earthshot Awards, launched by future leader Prince William, which runs annually from 2021 to 2030, and sees five winners each year recognized for their work helping the environment. The finalists from the scheme will accompany the royal family at 26 Colombian pesos, the UN Climate Change Conference in Glasgow next month and Prince Charles has shown his support for his son's scheme by calling it a bold ambition when he expressed his pride for his son and the prize. When referencing these comments, royal biographer Angela Levin, who has met and interviewed Prince Harry, described the heir apparent and his son's united interest in climate change as very moving but issued a blow to Prince Harry, which has been met with dismay from fans of the Sussexes. Taking to Twitter she wrote, Royal father and son working towards the same goals is very moving in what has been a very difficult year. I hope one day Harry will feel ashamed of himself. Her comments came under fire from fans of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, with fans accusing the royal biographer of being anti-Sussex and causing unnecessary drama. User Raptize Pimentel 10 wrote shaming Harry without empathizing with his real issues is just mean while of Mafox jadded, why are you anti-Sussex? Not just you but half the country. I had hoped they would have returned by now, 